Yo, it's me, Chris, and as you guys can see today, I am, of course, wearing the It's On, like, Donkey Kong shirt. Yes, it's the only shirt I own, eh, anymore, at least. I'm with this guy. Hey, it's me, Curtis, a.k.a. Wow! Built different, a.k.a. Chubby Rain himself in the flesh, coming at you from your mom's room. Woo, baby! We out here. Let's go. Today, we're going to be doing something that's considered the hardest task on this planet, which is? Watch a movie. Whoa, what kind of movie are we going to watch today? Uh, remember the Titans. It was the, uh... I'm sorry, I for, <laughs> for a minute there, I forgot about the Titans, but then I remembered the Titans. Boom, baby! Um, this was our runner-up on the poll for the Patreon, and we decided, you know what? Not only was it a runner-up, but it was also a recommendation to Kyle... You know Kyle, our good buddy Kyle. Oh, yeah, the small guy there, the handsome dude. I remember him. Yeah, uh, in our Mean Girls video. If you haven't seen that, maybe give it a look. Or if you don't want to, well, okay. Then you're going to miss out on Kyle. You suck. You suck. But uh, it was a recommended edition of his a while ago, and yeah. since it was a run-up, we thought, you know what? Screw it. We're going to do it for the Tuesday we'll movie. I baby. know one person for sure. Some guy who DM'd me on Instagram was like, hey, yo, remember the Titans. Get on that shit. I'm on it, brother. Don't We're worry. on it. We're on it. And speaking about Patreon, thank you, Patreon, for being awesome. Thank you, Patreon, for being great. And thank you, Patreon, for maybe achieving my dream of quitting my job and doing this full-time in the future. Wow. Anytime soon? I don't think so. <laughs> hey, you know what? Keep on hitting up the Patreon. For a dollar, you could go and vote on the polls, and you could talk to other people if you wish. There's some interesting people there. Some are cool. Some are great. That's as far as I'll go with that one. Uh, the people who are also great are those who are subbing to the Octocrow channel. You guys are absolutely beautiful people. Wow, look at you. You're so dashing. You're so charming. Every time I look at you, I'm like, woo, woo. Every time I look at you, it's crazy, man. And then we have those of you who are not subbed to the Octocrow channel. You guys are absolute nimrods. You guys are losers. You guys are goblins. You're scum of the earth. Nobody likes you. You're similar to a cockroach. You're meant to be exterminated yes and if you don't want to be exterminated you can sub to the octopus channel right now and well you'll see another day like in the last movie we watched a good bug's a dead bug hey um you know what i'm gonna get into that movie all right I was about to say, man, that's bug propaganda right there man anyways we're gonna hop into the movie we'll stop rambling like we do we're watching remember the titans our boy Denzel. <laughs> Damn, I don't think we've done a Disney movie in a while. Yeah, it's been quite a bit. Quite I want to see time. like uh, Denzel Washington playing football with Mickey Mouse. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> it's like Space Jam but Disney. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> and they play football. Yeah, and dude. Basketball. That would be cool. No, it would not. I'd pay for that. No. Yeah. I, I've heard the second Space Jam was so bad. Hey, but the first one was good. All we need is one movie. I'd rather not watch uh, athletes try to beat actors. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. A lot of them can't pull it off. It's, it's pretty bad. Yeah. It's pretty yeah, bad. You're right. Oh, it's based on a true story. Well, loosely based on a true story. Yeah. 1981. Oh. Are we at a funeral? My daddy coached in Alexandria. He worked so hard, my mama left him. But Damn. He's on that grind. A <laughs> ball is life for real. <laughs> That summer, a black teenager was killed by a white store owner. And oh, the city no. was on the verge of exploding. I know I shouldn't have been jamming out with that going, being said, but this song it's, is it's nice. It's a banger. It's a banger. Listen, with the schools integrating at all, some of the guys are worried about losing their starting positions. Yeah, just uh, play hard. If you're a good player, you won't get replaced. Just be good. She's coming down to the store. They want to burn the place up. Wait, is that, that um, Ryan Goslin? Holy shit, he's young. Whoa. Wait, why is he in a tire iron? Get in the truck. Now. Yo, that's a good coach, man. They're about to make a big mistake. Yeah. Kick them all off the team. I don't want to play with any of those black animals. What? I see him. That was some real bad timing, buddy. I'm Herman Boone. I'm the new assistant coach. Well, why ain't you outside there with all your little friends hollering? Yo, that was a bit condescending, bro. This was the time that was... Arrange for me to meet with Coach Yost. I come to win. Win? Coach Yost here has been nominated to the Virginia High School Hall of Fame. Fifteen winning seasons. Well, I won a couple of titles down in North Carolina. 
Because here's Virginia. We play triple A. Well, what an opportunity for me, then. To learn. Kill him with kindness. I love that. That's how you do it, man. That's not that guy, like, uh, his ass-kissing attitude. I don't like him. Neither do I, man. He's, like, gaslighting his homie a bit too hard. That's a That's rabbit! That's a bunny! That's not a bear! What a teddy bear! The school board has decided that Negro Herman Boone is going to be the head coach at TC. He's trying to take away your daddy's future place in the hall. You can't just walk in here and take my daddy's job away! Is no, she's feisty as hell. Holy crap. <laughs> I thought she was going to kick him in the balls. <laughs> I thought <laughs> she kicked oh. him! <laughs> Yeah, I really thought. Okay, I got really scared there. I was like, oh my god. Except humiliation and despair. Dr. Dave, excuse me. Herman, I think that you you better look outside. Oh, no. What's outside? Oh. Never mind. Oh, yes. Oh, I thought no. it was going to be a, like a bunch of condescending white people for a second. Yeah, with, with like torches and stuff, treating them like Frankenstein. That's what I was expecting, like a mob. Yeah. Now, I'm not answering to your prayers. I'm not a... Savior, or Jesus Christ, Martin Luther King, or the Easter Bunny. I'm a football coach, that's all. <laughs> Easter Just Bunny? You are a coach. You are a coach. That's a lot of pressure to give one man, all right? Yeah, he looks so uncomfortable. He's like, man, why do you guys got to do this outside my house? I just want to spend time with my family, man. Put your hand down. You smiling? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why are you smiling? Ball's fun. Fun, sir. Fun, sir. It's fun. Yes. You sure? <laughs> now you're thinking. First you smile, then you think. You think football is still fun? Uh, yes. Sir. Yes, no. No? Sir, sir uh, <laughs> no, that's fun. Not anymore, though, is it? Sir. Absolutely not? Zero fun, sir. All right, listen up. I'm Coach Boone. I'll tell you all about how much fun you're going to have this season. You will wear a jacket, shirt, and tie. If you don't have one, buy one. Can't afford one, then find a drunk, trade him for his. Oh, shit. I guarantee you, there isn't a bum on the street that looks as raggedy and ridiculous as what I'm looking at right now. Oh. This is no democracy. Ooh. It is a dictatorship. Oh, I am wow. Involved. That is hardcore as hell, dude. I mean, he wants people who really want it. I'm Gary Bertier. Teams, we don't need any of your people on defense. We're already set. What you say your name was uh, Jerry? Gary. Jerry. You must say Jerry like Lewis, which would make you Dean Martin, right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin going to camp with us here this year. Oh, my God. Jerry tells the jokes, Dean sings the songs, and gets the girl. Let's give him a round of applause. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> once you get on that bus, you ain't got no mama no more. Mm. You got your brothers on the team, it's your daddy. Now you know who your daddy is, don't you? Oh my god. Who's your daddy? <laughs> oh. Bro. You. Uh huh. And whose team is this? Is this your team? Or is this your daddy's team? <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Get on the bus. Hey man, he had to put him in his place, dude. Yeah. God damn. That's a, hoo, hoo, hoo. dude. Ooh. He has to like enforce that he's not here to fuck around. Yeah. Offensive bus, sit together. Defensive bus, sit together. Get comfortable too, because the person that I have you sitting next to is the same one that you'll be rooming with. Wow. That is so smart. Forcing them to get along. Ain't no. Okay. Hey. Okay. Okay. Blue. Shut up. Oh. Damn, that was kind of a buzzkill. Right. You can shut up too. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't looking at that for two weeks, man. Take it down. You can close your eyes for two weeks, all I care. <laughs> then you better use your x ray vision, Superman. And look right through it, because it ain't coming down. <laughs> <laughs> Over a poster? In every aspect of the game, you drop a pass, you run a mile. You miss a block an assignment, you run a mile. You fumble the football, and I will break my foot off in your John Brown hind parts. <laughs> and then you will run a mile. Perfection. <laughs> Damn. I like how he straight up just says, 
his expectations are high and you have to meet it. I mean, he wants winners. That's what he wants. He wants people who want to be there. Yep. You know? I respect that. Each one of you will spend time every day the teammate of a different race. You do have a daddy, right? Look, I have a father. Oh my Bro. god. Eric. Come on. Whoo, boy. Yo, what the fuck am I looking at? What do you think of this one? Does the term cruel and unusual punishment mean anything to you? What were those moves? Looks like a flounder. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, shit. You need a water break. You need a water break. Water is for cowards. Water makes you weak. We are going to do up downs until Blue is no longer tired and thirsty. <laughs> oh my God! Bruh. I was gonna take a drink of water, but I, I did, man. I was just like, guess I'm weak. <laughs> I don't want to be a coward now. All right, honestly, I think you're nothing. Nothing but a pure waste of God-given talent. You don't listen to nobody, man. Not even Doc or Boone. You can't run over everybody in this league. And every time you do, you leave one of your teammates hanging out to dry. Me in particular. Why should I give a hoot about you? Huh? Or anybody else out there? I'm supposed to wear myself out for the team? What team? I'm going to look out for myself, and I'm going to get mine. That's the worst attitude I ever heard. Attitude reflect leadership, Captain. Woo! Ooh! My guy! Oh, no, are we getting an early morning drill? If you get lost along the way, don't bother coming back to camp. <laughs> Just hitchhike your hind parts on home. Any questions? Coach, it's a high school football team. We're not in the Marines here. Let's go. <laughs> He's like, shut up. Yep. I understand, like, his method. He's basically forcing them, like... You guys have to be friends. I don't care if you're pretending. Just do it. Yep. Learn to work together. That's it. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you like each other or not. Mm. But you will respect each other. You always how he, I like how he always has a reason for what he's doing with them. There's a lesson. Yes. <clears throat> Alright. We'll be out of here all night till we get this thing right. Let's go. What was that, Ray? Whatever it is, it ain't blocking. She said, let them in. Get to rev once, just one time. I swear to God, I'm gonna hit you so hard by the time you come to. Ooh, boy, you're gonna need a new haircut. You understand me? A new haircut? Nothing like physical violence to get you all together and strong. Right. Looks like brother, don't you know me and Bert, his mama, went out on the town last night. <laughs> what are you so talking about? Now, now, listen, now, Blue, why you talking about Bert to your mama like that? See, now you're making me angry, man. Look like I ain't gonna be able to take your mama to the prom. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave your mama a piggyback ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's a mama oh, joke. <laughs> Damn, that was perfect delivery, too. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Hey, he's feeling it. Ooh. What the hell are those moves? Yeah, he's got some bad moves. Oh. Oh, Yo, let him have some fun, He's man! He's feeling it, man! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! He did a good job up here. He ran a tough camp from what I can see. Well, I'm very happy to have the approval of a five-year-old. I'm not in the half, thank you very much. <laughs> Why don't you get this little girl some pretty dolls or something? She loves football. You love what you love? Mm-hmm. 
What kind of power you got? Oh man, you know I got some soul power. Oh. What kind Hell yeah, man. Yeah, the homies hype each other up. Let's go. Oh my god, he's fucking, he's fucking losing it, man. Hey. They do up there, brainwashing. That's the only conclusion. They brainwashing them. Welcome home. This is Nikki. Nikki, that's Cheryl. Why do you dress so weird? Ow! <laughs> Look who's talking. Woo! -hoo! Damn! Y'all yeah, both dressing like shit. <laughs> ah, this is when things get rough, man. Ah, sorry, Julius. This is Emma. Is she gonna go for the handshake? Shake No! Woo! Oh, I'm sorry. That's a red flag. See you never, Emma. All this hatred and turmoil swirling around us, but this, this is always right. Struggle. Survive. Mm -hmm. hey, Coach, I'm, a, I'm afraid I put you into a no-win situation. Lose a game. They'll fire you. For losing a game? Back over to yours. Well, looks like we're going for a clean sweep. That's it, man. We ain't got time to lose. Let me tell you something. You don't let anything come between us. Nothing tears us apart. Greek mythology, the titans were greater even than the god. Football field out there tonight, that's our universe. Let's rule it like titans. Oof. Oh, I like that. That was so well said. Oh, man, look at these Cheeto Puff looking assholes, man. <laughs> Cheeto Get his ass. Puffs. And the orange as hell. Oh, come on. Hey. Are all white girls that crazy? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he's struggling. You gotta switch it, man. This man, you come play linebacker for me. Twenty three is killing us. I want you to get out there. I want you to cover him for me. Hmm. It's okay. You're okay. You're okay. No! You're just getting beat. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude's gonna have a heart attack. Yeah, he looks like he's going to. All right, let's go. That's it. There we go. Ooh, damn. Oh, jeez. Dude, God, you gotta be damn. looking. There we go. Give him a good hug. That's it, man. Give him a big old hug. We're heading over to the hill, Gary. Everyone's gonna be there. The hill. Why don't you hang out down here with us? Yeah, fuck the hill. I'm not running in the same direction as you are, Gary. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Later, bitch. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Bye. You got your priorities real mixed up this time. No, he doesn't. Yeah. Up yours. Damn, dude. He's a real one. That's it, man. We ain't riding with the losers. What are you doing at the Berg? Play basketball with Julius. And we're gonna come back here for dinner. Gary, if your father was still alive. Ma, just get to know him. Listen to him for two seconds. I don't want to get to know him. You are coming to church with your mother. Ball is life. Come on. <sighs> come on, man. Ball's life. There's no ball in church. You talking to my girl? I don't see any livestock around here, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh no. That was pretty rough, though. I don't see no livestock here. Yeah, that was that was pretty rude. Oh, it's like you went to the zoo and made some new friends, Bertier. Oh. Go back to your fucking barn, right? Talking about zoos, you're the one whose girls fucking cattle, bro. Shut up. Damn. Damn, they smacked his nose around. Sooner or later, man's gonna pick sides. I'm not gonna put myself through the rest of the season with that uppity. Hey, hell. I brought you here. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Hey, Herb, you go to hell. Oh, what the fuck, man? Why do racist people have to always be like that? Yeah, I know. Like, why man. do they seem so like terrified? <laughs> so stupid. Hey, Coach Coon. 
Oh, come on. All right, let's get some blasting. Oh man, disrespectful, man! Come on, cowards, man! I bet you they drink water. <laughs> yeah! We all want a victory! I love that, dude. Oh no. Woo! Oh, did they actually hurt him? It's possible, man. That was a quick one. Oh no. And he broke a bone in the wrist. He won't be thrown anymore this season. Oh no. You got one minute. Your team needs you tonight. You're the colonel. You're going to command your troops tonight. You understand? Yes, All right. Yep. <laughs> Woo! I mean, it easy to do that when you know it's coming, right? Yep. And the quarterback? You kidding me, coach? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want Ray off the team, coach. I know that Ray missed that block on purpose. Ooh. Sometimes you just gotta cut a man loose. Ooh. Damn. Well, you're the captain. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Hey man, you gotta do it. Yeah. Ray, I'm not gonna let you play for this team anymore. You willing to just oh. throw away our friendship for them? What a tool. Yep. Oh, we all running Tai Chi? <laughs> Do not drop me. Woo! My guy's dead! What a clothesline from hell! E free! That's a dream come true, man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. I was thinking, damn, I gotta get into sports. <laughs> right? Defense on me. You make sure they remember the night they played the Titans. Damn. That's it, man. We remember the Titans. Yeah, just menacingly points. That's it, man. You're next, dickhead. Yeah. God damn! Oh, They're just flipping. Whoo! Just killing them. Coach, coach, I took a straw poll. You just lost yourself the Hall of Fame. Shove it. Who gives a shit about the Hall of Fame, you losers? Yeah, man. More like the Hall of Shame. Get out of here. Man, good job. Hey, way to stick. Good job. <laughs> good game, coach. Coach. Oh, I love that so much. Let's get out of here. Let's go paint the town or something. Let's go. Where you going? I don't know. I know. I know. I'll see you. I'll see you. I hope nothing happens to him, man. Yeah, I'm hoping. Like, it seems, it seems very unusual how he's like, he just really wants to get out of here. Let's go, coach. Ooh. Let's fucking go. Lovely John Brown.
but no one's gonna win state, right? Right! 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 right. right. <laughs> we ain't working. Hell no. Oh no. Oh, he wasn't paying attention. Homies first. That's it, man. We do it for the homies. That's the rule of life. Only Ken's allowed in here. Are you blind? Did you see the family resemblance? <laughs> <laughs> That's my brother. Left side. Strong side. That's it, man. Homies till we die. Oh, man. <sighs> How you doing, Gary? All right, coach. I was just talking with these guys about Marshall turning. Hey, you know what? Ready. We don't need to talk about football right now, Gary. I think this is a good time for reflection and for prayer. Coach, I'm hurt. I ain't dead. Oh, gee. You know, I've been uh, reading up on the activities that they got for people in wheelchairs and such. They got Olympics. Hey! hey. When one door closes, another one opens. That's it. Never give up. Keep going. Essentially, man. Great mindset, you know? A lot of people would take a hard hit from that. Yeah. Well, lucky for him, he's got a lot of support around him. I'm eligible. <clears throat> oh, I'm glad to hear that, son, but I'm already married. <laughs> plus, plus, average coach. I'm going to college. Oh, That's sweet. That's nice. I won't play for the championship. You can play for me next year. You sit on that bench. Show me you can support your teammates. You start again as a senior. He's got a point, though. If you abandon the team, you don't really have a right to play. It, it's not a... Yeah. Gary. 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 Oh. oh, well, I guess we never met, huh? Ooh. Ooh. Yo, let's go. That's it. That's it. Met. That's it. Yeah. That's it, man. That's how we do it out here. That's how we do it out here. What? Oh. oh. Woo! -hoo! See ya. Get him out of here. <laughs> oh, no. He's a mile ahead of you, coach. If your defense would stop somebody, we'd get the ball a little more. Well, tight. Blame game ain't gonna work here. Nope. Look, coach. Now is the time to be proud. All right. We're in a fight. You boys are doing all that you can do. Anybody can see that. In all due respect, uh, you demanded more of us. You demanded perfection. Hmm. I ain't saying that I'm perfect, because I'm not. And I ain't gonna never be. None of us are. So this team is perfect. If it's all the same to you, Coach Boone, that's how we want to leave it. Herman, I sure could use your help. Let's go. It's out time. Everybody in. Out time. Out time. Out time. There we go. Got to get on the same page. Essentially, yeah. You got to do something different. Put Petey in. He's better. You want him to take your spot, you go give it to him. That is some true humility right there. Big true. Is being honest with yourself. <laughs> That's how we do it. Kill him! <laughs> Woo! Damn, we making him eat the floor. Woo! 
Yo, what was that? Are you spitting him? <laughs> Yo, it looks like the guy can't keep a straight face, the referee. Yeah, he's trying. Oh, my damn. Man. My man marching, man. Look at him go. That's it, man. Get his ass. Get him. Where's Rev? Yes, sir. All right, listen. You ready to run? Yes, sir. Fake 23 blast. Backside George reversed like your life depended upon it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's that's go. what I'm talking about. No idea what I meant, but that's what I'm talking about. No idea what the hell any of that means, but hey, let's go. That's it. There we go. There we go. We running. We running. Oh. Damn, they just running out there. That's it, man. That's it. Good season. Right. Yo, he's about to cry, man. Yo, man. Yeah. <laughs> the level of disappointment was just like... Ten years later, Gary died. And that's what brought us back here today. Oh! No! But before we reach for hate, always, always, we remember the Titans. Man, that is sad. Oh my god, dude. I wasn't expecting it for being Gary's funeral. God damn. Good movie. Very good movie. We just finished watching Remember the Titans, and man, it was a good movie. A lot of good lessons in it as well. Yep. You know? Truly a movie to remember, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let alone the most obvious one of course being you know racism and such i think it had a lot to do with pride and humility i think those were very yes. like central core themes throughout the film yeah uh again very good movie uh i completely forgot about the funeral in the beginning yeah i know i know and right when i was right when they were showing the funeral i was like oh fuck yeah i, I uh, didn't know who it was gonna be i think oh it could be maybe two of the coaches no, it's it's Gary. It's it's God, fucking man. Gary, Poor man. Gary, man, my guy, dude gets cr gets crippled in a car accident, and then gets killed again by in another accident by a drunk driver. By a drunk driver, like dude, that just sucks, man. Ah, oh, my God. But well, again, it's like you said, th th this is a phenomenal movie, and I think it's a very good movie. Like, it's sad to say that this movie is uh, even relevant today. You know, it, it's, it's sad to say we still have these kind of issues in modern society. It's like it's 2022 now, yet we still have issues like this. And it's just like, bro. To be fair, from like, maybe I have a very uh, negative outlook on society and life itself. I think it's always going to be a problem. Uh, yeah. Uh, to be honest, I feel like m specifically in modern society, I feel like it's even more so encouraged and enabled for tribalism sticking to your own kind of people. I find it's a big thing nowadays. Not a lot of people are comfortable or even make the effort or try to get out of their comfort zone of being with who they know in a sense. Yeah. You know, and I feel like a lot of people got to get out of that comfort zone and go see the world a little bit. Yeah, you got to talk you know? to some new people, you know? Yeah, talk to some new people. Get to know, some... Yeah, get to know some new people. Maybe, you know, learn some new cultures and whatnot. You know, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. I mean... Sure, COVID didn't help with that kind of uh, <laughs> stuff, you know? Hell no. Uh, COVID kind of set things back in uh, behind a, a couple uh, a yards or steps. Woo. But, you know, I don't know. I just, I, I, it's kind of weird. It's just like, how does, like, why do people care about such little important things? Uh, for example, of, like, how someone looks or, like, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I, I don't get that. You know, isn't the individual that matters more than anything else rather than... <laughs> The appearance or who they are on the outside like you know i, I just don't understand it i, I like I, I don't get it in a sense you no know? I, I really don't I, it's just like the only time when it matters to care about how someone looks in a sense and that is like if you're gonna date them 
You know, you have to be attracted to them. I'm not trying to sleep with every person I meet or shake hands with in my life. You know, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, sure. It's like, it, it, I feel like it's just like people are, well, it's like they say it's easier to hate the things you don't understand than try to learn them. I guess so. It's a lot easier than anything to just, especially when like everyone else is kind of like telling you, oh, it's bad. Mm, you know what? Yeah. It's more like a hive mind thought, you know, especially even in modern society. It's very popular where a majority of people are going to tell you, oh, this bad, this not good. You don't believe this? You bad. You know You're what? not good. Yeah, you know what? I do. Here's the thing. If anybody tells you something is good or bad, don't listen to them. They're fucking morons. There's only one way to have an opinion, and that's for you to find out yourself. The only way to have an opinion is for you to experience said thing for yourself. It's or not... to experience a different type of culture or people for yourself. Get yourself a, new, a fucking opinion before you listen to everybody else. Essentially, do some self-research. Look into things. Experience some things. Yeah. And then you can have a proper opinion. Yeah. I think, I think that's the biggest issue. Too many people just want to, like, listen to the loudest voice in the room or the loudest voice on the internet. And here's the biggest problem when it comes to the internet. The people who are the most vocal, have the loudest voices, are, without a doubt, the dumbest individuals on the planet. The people who shout the loudest are so goddamn stupid it's unbelievable yeah, but you know what the funny thing is it's the people who sh so the people who shout the loudest on the internet are not the people who are going to shout the loudest in real life no god it's very strange you know it's a very weird thing so the people who are shouting the loudest on the internet absolute fucking idiots like below average iq absolute troglodyte brain dude these guys are the worst okay just again have your own opinions all right and stop hating people all right it's overrated to hate people nowadays, okay? The only reason you should hate a person is if they personally hurt you. Yes! If they physically in any way if hurt they, you. Well, not just that, if they physically hurt you. If they talk bad about you. If they say anything bad. But here's the thing. Let's say the individual is white, alright? They say something mean to you. Don't think, oh, fuck, all white people are bad. Nah! Every fucking white person who looks like this asshole named Brian is a fucking idiot. Get specific, all right? Get specific. Make your right? hatred don't, specific. Yes, don't generalize your hatred. Be specific with your hatred. Individualize all right? your hatred. Individualize your hatred. It's like that guy at the gas station. You're about to get in your place and put your gas in. It's the last place. This guy parks there, and it turns out he's Asian. The problem is he's a fucking asshole! He stole your spot! That's it. That's the thing to focus. He is an asshole. Yes. That is it. And a discussion. And it's, you know what the Race doesn't even, matter. Here's the thing. In a world full of millions and millions of people, no matter race, everyone is able to be an asshole. All right? It's not race exclusive. No, it's not. No. Everyone's a fucking asshole to some extent. Assholes right? come in different shapes, colors, sizes. Doesn't goddamn matter, man. It, isn't that scary? I think that's our biggest epidemic to date. Stupid assholes. Stupid assholes. That's our greatest epidemic. And again, that they are the ones with the loudest voices, man. Because you know why? No one taught them to shut their dumb asses up. <laughs> That's the thing. They, they went through their whole lives being told, oh, you're right. Oh, that you're so smart. No, you're not. You're an idiot. Shut up. Like, oh, God. I. Oh. I okay. So, yes, the greatest topic here is of, like, racism, acceptance, and, you know, don't be an asshole and just, you know, learn to accept others and whatnot. You know, kind of don't judge a book by its cover yeah. without reading it first. Get to know people first. Yeah, you know, at least, at least, you know, read the fucking synopsis at least, okay? Just, yeah. Don't just judge a book by its cover. But enough of that, because I feel like that could go on and on and on and on yeah, and on. Yeah, obviously. But I, I, I like what you said before about, like, humility and pride. That one was a big one there, and I, it was like both coaches had problems with it. And not even that, even most of the players, Yes, too. most of the players, too. A lot of them had to kind of learn how to kind of break that barrier of letting other people in to help them out you know it was kind of like a at, uh, the, at, end at there. the end there yep uh ryan gosling's character sorry i'm not good with uh, remembering characters names often uh, we remember the titans but not the actor uh, not the the character's name uh, ryan gosling's character at the end there he, he straight up said pd's better than me yep. i'm not as good yep. i can't i'm yep. not going to be able to play with at these guys level yep like i, I appreciated kind of like that, that yeah that self-acceptance of being like all right Right now, I know I can't handle this person, but I got a guy over there who can take him on, and we can fucking win this thing. You know what that is? That's called teamwork, all right? That's a team it, player. Exactly. That's a team player. And Understanding sports, where you are weak and where you are strong. Yes, and it's, I think it's one of the fundamentals of uh, a team game is knowing when 
to be a team player. It's very hard because everybody wants to shine. That's the issue. Oh, yeah. But you have to remember, you have to think about the team, not about yourself. When it, if you When it comes to wanting to win in a team scenario, you know? And... I don't know I, I kind of like that. You know, I kind of like that self that self um what is it that self awareness. Yeah, just humility. Yeah, there's just it was, it was like those minor things here and there that I really liked. And I also liked their relationship between uh Gary and um oh my, Julius. Julius. They had a really good relationship. I, like truly brothers, dude. It was actually really nice. I like that. I like that how they absolutely hated each other in the beginning and you know. Yeah, but the thing is they hated each other but they were both the same. It's like on the bus, the guy starts singing. They're like, "Yo, shut your fucking!" Up. <laughs> <laughs> they were both like, it's like "I, shut I, your I yeah. singing ass up." And it's kind of funny because they got really into the singing very soon after, you know, as soon as they all became homies. No, but I just, I, I kind of like that. And it's just like you're not as different as you think you are. Maybe, yeah, sure, you look fucking different, but that doesn't mean you are different. You know what I mean? That's it, man. You gotta give people a chance. That's it. Unless they're an asshole, you don't have to give them a chance. No. No. Like, honestly, like, there's some things that get, you can't listen to what everyone tells you about other people. Oh, you have to go Unless this person killed their dog or something. Like, we're talking extremities here, okay? Yeah. But, I mean, for the most part, like, don't, don't listen to what other people say about other people. Especially if you see them not talking to them often. Alright? Because a lot of people like to badmouth others behind their back without even knowing who they are or what they do. So don't take their words for, uh, as truth in a sense, you know? Take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a grain of salt. You don't want to backhand bully people. It's not nice. No. No. And on that note, I think we're going to peace on out because it's getting kind of, uh, it's like nine minutes in. We're getting close to ten minutes and we're going to keep it short, sweet, and simple like your mother. Um, <laughs> Yo! <laughs> damn! <laughs> but it's a phenomenal movie. It's very good. Again, uh, a very relevant movie, I believe. Still today, Maybe not as bad as back then. I mean, racism. Was, God, as you no. can see the racism there. But dude, god damn, dude. It was so bad back then, man. Like, holy crap, dude. Yeah. Fuck, man. Sometimes, even though things still suck quite a bit today, we kind of take it for granted of how bad it really was back then. Yeah. It's gotten better, and we could just only hope for it to get better as uh, the years go by. You know, let's hope that acceptance gets better. Stupidity probably won't. No. But nope. acceptance nope, hopefully nope, nope. can get better. So on that note, we're going to peace on out. Uh, sadly, like Gary. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Hey. Copy. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, so we learned what? Racism bad. Racism is bad, which is just a fundamental. Humility is important. Humility is important. Confidence, though, is still very good. Confidence is high. I kind of like that with the coach there. And the last one? Ball is life. Ball is life. Disres disregard. Throwing far. Others Woo! And